and going through all of that rejection to suddenly being the hottest item on the market. How did that happen? You know, it happened, the, the realization happened because I met a woman at an event who got a VP of marketing role, and that's the job that I was looking for, for a technology company. She had no background in it. She had no experience in it, in technology. And I had almost 20 years experience in technology. And she got the job and I didn't. And I, I said, well, hey, how did you, how'd you find that position? And it ends up she knew the CEO. And it, that's when it struck me. It's about who you know, not who you are. So once you, once you go out and meet people, then you can get to know people and they can, you can engage in conversation. If they like you, they want to pursue the conversation. If they don't, that's okay. You know what they're saying now? What's I that? don't know anybody. What? I don't know any CEOs. I don't even know anybody in management. The people in the firm that I used to work, where I used to work, the management didn't know me and I didn't know them. I tell you what, I, I felt the same way. So one of the things that you'll find in the job search, there's, there's a concept called the strength of the week. And the strength of the week says that the people who know you the best, your strongest relationships will help you the least. The people who know you the least will help you the most. So the key is in job search is to hang out with as many people as you can who barely know you at all. Now, I love my friends and my family, and I have a, a tight network of friends and family, but when it came to job search, they were completely useless for me. And, and I thought, I love you. Can't you help me with my job search? But what I found is when I went and, and met with a, a bunch of people who were also out of work, who barely knew me at all, they were so incredibly helpful. They had leads, they had contacts, they had ideas. And, and that's when it struck me that I need to start hanging out with a lot of people I don't know. My network was fairly small when I was first looking. I, I had moved to Arizona pretty recently and I didn't really know that many new people. And I made a concerted effort to start building my network and start meeting people. Now I feel like uh, I could be one of the most well-networked people in town. Okay, well, what do you do at the meetings? You said you meet twice a month, is that right? Right. Mm -hmm. Twice a month. And this is for cocktails and everybody gets sloshed. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't have any idea who the guy was that you met yesterday. What happens at these meetings? No, there, there actually, um, no, there's no drinking other than coffee. Uh, we, what happens is we go around the room and we say who you are, what you're looking for, and how the group can help. So the meetings uh, take place from 8.30 to 11. Where? On the first and third Fridays of the month over at La Quina to in on Shea in the 101 freeway in Scottsdale. And we, we go around the room, who you are, what you're looking for, and how the group can help. So for example, you might be a, a CFO. I'm a CFO in technology in the airline industries. Previously, I worked at Verizon and, and American. I'm now looking for contacts with AT&T and US Airways. Who can help me? And then people raise their hand and say, I have a contact. My next door neighbor is the president of US Airways. My uh, past past boss works over um, if the guy if the guy's neighbor is the president of US Airways what is he doing out of work at your meeting well I mean he's got a huge mortgage to pay but <laughs> the, the reality is right now and especially now there's a lot of people that that are looking for work there's a lot of companies that are taking this opportunity in a down economy to to really clean house and make big layoffs. Yeah, but That's with so all of the people about. that are out of work, doesn't it make the job harder to find a job? Well, it does if you go about it the wrong way. But if you go about it the right way, again, going out, meeting people, having interesting conversations, make t asking smart questions. I have a, a blog that I have um, about job search as well, job search tips. And you can find it on our website at executivesnetwork.com. But in that blog, I talk about the, the key of asking smart questions. Don't When you first meet someone, don't don't say, hello, my name is Molly Wendell, and I'm looking for a job. And if you happen to know any interesting companies that are hiring a VP of marketing, let me know. That's not the way to approach someone, and that's not the what way is? to, to what meet is the someone. Right way? What you want to do is, is say, hey, you know, I'm Molly Wendell. What's your name? Oh, Pat. Great to meet you. So, Pat, what do you do? And you get them to talk about themselves. And, and quit talking about you. Talk more about them. Find out about them. Find out if they're an interesting person. Find out if they have a, a big network. Find out who in their network you might want to meet and, and ask them to make an introduction for May you. May I jump in with one suggestion? I was thinking about this when I was watching American Idol the uh, other night. Uh -huh. And these kids who are rejected or sent home or right. just they didn't make the cut. 
some of them turn on the judges on network television and behave like little varmints uh, <laughs> screaming flipping birds at the judges right. and, and, and obscenities burning bridges not a good idea no burning bridges is never a good idea that's why impressions are always so important whether it's your first impression or your last impression one of the things when you when you leave a company never burn a bridge you never know when those relationships might come back around and it is a small world we live in and it's getting a lot smaller you know who so. said that molly wendell <laughs> Uh, you can get in touch with Molly. How about if Molly is your first step toward that beginning of your networking experience? I'd love to hear from you. You can get in touch with me here through the website. Uh, if you got a job as a result of going to these meetings or just checking in with Molly and finding out how you can. Uh, AZTV.com is my website, and I hope you've already jotted down Molly's. The name of the firm is Executives Network. How much do the meetings cost, by the way? They are $10 for members and $20 for all others. Okay. And no rolls with the coffee? No, sorry. Bring your own food. Okay. For that price? Yeah. All right. Well, if you get a job, though, see, it's money well worth spending. This is Pat McMahon. Listen, let's talk about a problem that came to medicine's attention seemingly quite suddenly. Well, wait a minute, what is this? What is this kind of disease? And we now know it's a combination of a couple of conditions, HIV and AIDS, and who's doing something about it now? Our next guests. No hell below us. Above us only sky. 